Well, we'll be treated to a uh, remarkable celestial phenomenon on the 21st of August uh, of this year, a total eclipse of the sun. We're fortunate because the path of totality, the narrow strip of land across the earth where you can see a total eclipse of the sun, the path of totality does pass by uh, our neck of the woods. We uh, have uh, regions in western Kentucky and in Tennessee uh, that include the path of totality. And if you are in the path of totality at the right time on that day, then you will see one of the most remarkable physical phenomena uh, that is imaginable. It is, in fact, I think, a total eclipse of the sun, the most spectacular, predictable event of nature. The best thing to do is to consult a map of the eclipse path, and those maps are available on the internet. For example, if you go to eclipsewise.com, that website has a interactive Google map that shows exactly where the path of totality is, so you can figure out exactly where you need to be. Beginning around 1 o'clock Eastern Time, the moon will begin to pass in front of the sun, and the sun will begin to be covered up. Over about a half uh, an hour and a half period of time, the sun will become increasingly covered by the, by the moon. And that phase of the eclipse, as we call it, is the so-called partial phase of the eclipse, when the sun's disk is only partially covered. Then, if you're in the path of totality, but not here in Lexington, then for a period of two to two and a half minutes, the entire disk of the sun will be covered. That's called the total phase of the eclipse. During that precious few minutes, two, two and a half minutes, you will see a remarkable phenomenon where the entire disk of the sun is covered. The daylight has become nighttime because all you see at that point during those few minutes of the total eclipse is the outer atmosphere of the sun called the corona. And the corona is about as bright as the full moon. So if you are in the path of totality, in a period of about an hour and a half, the landscape changes from bright sunlight, weather permitting of course, uh, to darkness equivalent to the, a night of the full moon. You see stars in the sky, some of the brighter ones, and you see this beautiful pearly white corona surrounding the sun. This thin, faint atmosphere which is never visible during an ordinary day because it's completely uh, obscured by the bright light of the sun's disk. So it's very important during the partial phase of the eclipse, during the time when the sun is not completely covered by the moon. It's very important to use eye protection. And fortunately, eye protection is easily and cheaply available. These cheap cardboard glasses right here are all you really need to see the partially eclipsed sun. They contain a very, very dark plastic, which uh, only uh, admits a very tiny fraction of the light uh, to your eye. They are so dark that if you take them outside on an ordinary day, you can see nothing whatever except the sun. Take one of these uh, cheap glasses out on uh, an ordinary day, look up, and you'll see the disk of the sun, plain as day, so to speak. You'll see nothing else. Uh, so these glasses, which will be widely available, they're available on the internet. In, in bulk, they're much less than a dollar a pair, uh, but if you don't need a huge number, you, I'm sure, will be able to get them for a dollar or two or three. Very inexpensive. These. Uh, very inexpensive cardboard eclipse viewing glasses are all you need to safely observe the, the sun during the partial phases of the eclipse.